Hey, this is Steve Good on the Coin Chat with Yuri Cataldo. We are joined by uh, a raft of people from Litecoin Foundation and others. <laughs> so David <laughs> Schwartz, our regular, John, John Kim, just the Mad Hatter. And, um, and the- Yo! Oh, John the, Kim in the house. I'm Kate Tim Bay. No, I this is not the And actually, show. the most famous. This is the John Kim show. I'm, you I'm gotta sorry. stop talking and let me lead this conversation. <laughs> this is my show. I'm here in Malaysia and I'm up just for you because I like you guys and I like your chat. And I'm with Chloe. So well, we actually, are the most famous over. person in the house the is Chloe. Kim. Come on. You know it and we know it because we saw the Twitter. Uh, mini episode and we're waiting for the follow-up that comes after she's you know <laughs> gone off to the bedroom and left you and you're like walking around in the lobby trying to find her so <laughs> what happened next that's the question that's bro, going on. That's, bro that's the first episode we're on episode six you missed like five of them yeah, you gotta to to catch up it's called being left behind just like the title of our book <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, so the let only me, uh, question is, when do I get into one of these episodes? Because I want to be a part of it, because it looks like fun. Uh, we have an age limit, so it's going to be a while for you. <laughs> well, you know, it's amazing what makeup can do. And I can just be like, you know, the, the Caucasian, like, lover's triangle that just causes trouble. And then gets kicked out of Asia. Uh, just, use, <laughs> just use the face app. Use the face app, and then you'll be old enough, and then we're good. Oh, yeah. that's cool. So you're calling me old. That's cool. Thank you, David. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> the, the, the little grades over here. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about the Miami Dolphins either. Just, I was, I was trying to give you a compliment, bro. <laughs> yeah, it almost. It was like, wait, wait, wait. It was like a, it was like a slap. Wasn't there a slap in one of the episodes? That was the yeah, last oh. one. Go on, Chloe. Oh. Give him a slap. Give him a slap. Let's see it. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, so. No, so you I'm just keep you doing it over, over and over and over again. Attention away from my age, David, to slapping someone else instead. So let's see. I want John to get a slap on on John. This okay. So, so I'm gonna give you a little of a, a little bit of taste of the episode, and and this is basically how it went. Short version. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What led up yeah. to the slap is what's with Tell what's me what to do. do. No. Don't you ever hit me like that again. No. <laughs> That's how it went. And we, we did about 15 takes. And um, ever, ever since she slapped me, our relationship has changed. I, I bet it She's has. very authoritative now. She tries to tell me what to do now. So, very so dominant. guys, yeah. really, do us a favor. Just push yeah. him out of the side, out of the screen, take over, and let's have a proper <laughs> conversation. Oh! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Takeover. Nothing no, personal, John, but she's your better looking half there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? I get to see you in real life and you have no idea. <laughs> but you don't know where I really am right now. Just look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he hasn't looked out the window yet, David, but I have a feeling he's going to do it in a minute and go like, oh shit, he's really standing behind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, thanks for having us. Can I allow uh, Chloe to introduce herself? Yeah, go for it, Chloe. Tell us who you are, other than a famous Twitter video person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chloe. I'm, uh, I'm going on the Litecoin and OKEX Asia tour with John. And I work for a Singapore based consulting agency. It's for marketing and meetups and fundraising in Asia. Cool. Uh, in crypto and What's the name industry. of the company in Singapore? Great. Uh, it's JWL Crypto. Yeah. Okay. The website wlcrypto.com. Yeah. Cool. And I graduated from King's College London. I studied digital asset and media management. Cool. And that's the reason why. <laughs> that's where I am. <laughs> she actually got her master's from uh, King's College in London. Yeah. In, in digital assets. So she didn't tell you that we actually met in London and then she ran away and ran to Malaysia. <laughs> I would too if I met a guy look like you. <laughs> why, why is this like Ooh. a Dave Down Steve episode? Oh. This is supposed to be a light point promoter, like promote the, the success of the Dolphins instead of Take Down Steve. Oh, this isn't fair. Wait, wait, wait. Gary, back me up here. Come on, man. <laughs> So speaking of Litecoin, let's talk about the dolphins. So <laughs> we're <laughs> nice gonna transition. 
Nice segue. You like how it was totally seamless. So Litecoin, Dolphins, official official cryptocurrency of the Miami Dolphins. How did that happen? And what's that like now? Uh, yeah, so a lot of that actually occurred with Eric Brown from, um, from Alliant Payments uh, in the background. He'd been talking to them for a while. And uh, once, once we got started with the UFC and a few other things, that sort of just kind of ramped up. And then next thing you know, we had uh, a number of teams that were trying to, to court us, but the Dolphins had a pretty, pretty nice deal going. And so he sort of helped facilitate that for us. And, and awesome. yeah, it just worked out really well. What, what was, if, if you know, if I could ask, what was the biggest challenge trying to get a major sports team to actually say yes to this? Because I'm sure it was not a, an overnight success. There's probably a long process involved. So That one was pretty, actually, that was pretty drawn out. And I would say the, the biggest problem with um, major teams like that would be because we, we are constantly uh, talking about an integration and adoption. Those are our two big things. Yeah. Awareness is great, and we're really trying to push awareness, but we're really looking to, to put in that practicality of Litecoin in any type of a deal we do. So um, with major sports teams, you know, you, you kind of look for that golden, you know, you're looking for the holy grail, which is the tickets or the merch or, you know, on-site concessions or whatever. And, Tickets are usually controlled by Ticketmaster. They control like 90% of uh, the majority of, of, of tickets sold around the world. And then right. Fanatics is usually, at least in America, uh, in control of the merch that's sold from NFL teams and other major sporting brands. And so mm -hmm. if they don't accept it or they don't integrate it to be accepted, then those parts are taken off the table immediately. And All right. so that's what kind of made it the hard for, hardest for us. And so teams had to be real creative with how they could uh, – try and get us, you know, integrated in some, some way. And so the 50, 50 raffle for the dolphins was the, was the most logical uh, for, for them to bring to the table. What about moving toward things like, you know, buying concessions, like, you know, t-shirts or hot dogs or other stuff. Is that like something that's being considered for the future? Yeah. Yeah. We'll address that for the future. It's definitely not something that was pushed to the side. It's just, this was the best way to get started. Um, and to, to introduce it and educate people who are going to be at the stadium for, for those, uh, for those games, not in a, not in a, in an invasive way, but an educational mm -hmm. way, because most of them aren't going to know what the heck that is anyway. Right. Uh, even when they see it up on the, because we'll have it up on the shot, you know, or not the shot clock, but the score clock and, and, uh, and a few other areas, you'll see it there. But uh, the 50, 50 raffle was that way for them to kind of see how it actually works. Um, in their regular life when they're going to a game and they, right. you know, a lot of people use 50, 50 raffles. So that was a really good idea. That's yeah. For, for our listeners who don't know what the 50, 50 raffle is and maybe have not been professional game. I don't you know explain? what it is. Okay. So, <laughs> sure. so, so for Steve good, who's never been to a professional <laughs> athletic game, apparently. He doesn't uh, know I, just haven't, I haven't lived <laughs> in the States for such a long time. I don't know what these <laughs> raffle things are. I guess yeah. So the 50, the 50, yeah. 50 raffle know, was really, uh, just it's, like it out of the loop, right? <laughs> It's used for it's used for um, uh, charity, right? So fifty of it goes to a charity that's identified by the dolphins, and the other fifty goes to whoever actually wins the raffle. So when their number is drawn, they get fifty percent of whatever the pot is of every all of all the money that's come in for that specific right. game, right? So if yeah, if they raise twenty thousand dollars and people buying tickets for the raffle. Um, Whoever wins it gets ten grand, and then the charity gets ten grand. David, I'm going to have to stop you. They're having like whispers over there on the other side of the sh of the show, and we just can't have that. So they're going to have to tell us what they're talking about now. <laughs> well, well, for me, the biggest uh, difficulty was keeping my mouth shut about the. <laughs> that was the most difficult part of anything. Yeah, I think David what was having a hard time with it too, to be honest, because he kept hinting at it yeah. with us, and we were like. I think he just gave us a hint and we were trying to like assimilate all the hints over the last couple of months without trying to guess because we thought we might have figured it out, but we weren't allowed to guess because it was hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, the hardest yeah part David my, did a great job. Yeah, he did. The problem was that my <laughs> wife did a better job of not telling me a damn thing and she's part of the foundation as well. <laughs> and she, yeah, that, that had to be, I was like, impressed. I don't that. know what you're talking yeah. about. I'm like, come on, you got to be kidding me. We're married. She's like, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Litecoin Foundation. You could have leveraged in the marriage. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have leveraged anything, and she wasn't going to say anything. So happening. I thought that was that was 
Yeah, and that's he, awesome. He wasn't having it. There was just no way that we were going to get an ounce of it. Even Yuri tried, like, in a private chat. Hey, how's it going, Paulie? You know, she's like, nope, not talking about this whole thing with like, <laughs> no, nope, not was, gonna have yeah. it. Yeah, but no. I, I know how I know how excited John was, as as we all were. Um, oh, and so man. for for him to for him to be able to no! not say anything is incredible. No! She's, on, she's on mute at the moment. Oh, there she goes. No, I'm, sure, she's I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Well, we were just we were, we were just talking about you how you would not disclose the information about the whole Miami thing, and how Yuri and I had to be the last ones to find out. It's kind of like. Why have a show if you can't even like know what's going on from your own wife? Like, like seriously. <laughs> That's just like you know, an, an extra level. Uh, that you just I, I feel like I know more about what's going on in John and Chloe's life in Malaysia than I do in my own house <laughs> right now. <laughs> hey Paula, it's very nice to see you uh, finally. I realized looking at. I, I realized looking at you and how beautiful you are that Steve must be a rich man because it ain't his look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, John, I got one comment. Back at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo, roasted. Yeah, that's it. Never, never mess with people with British humor because we're always very good. I mean, I'm not originally from England, but I've picked up the humor. So you want to get into ironic and twisted, go down that path. <laughs> And Yuri will tell you, I can stick with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paulie, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> it's uh, good to see you again. Getting, getting ready, yeah, getting ready to pick up the kids. Yeah, well, Paulie, nice. welcome to the show. Paulie's the newest member of the Light Print Foundation who's representing Poland. Yeah. So that's been taking us on a lot of travel back and forth from the UK to Poland to kick the doors open and make Litecoin adoption happen. And Roger Ver was not happy when I told him my wife was with Litecoin Foundation. So he's um, well, going to be a bit of a kick. He'll be all right. Happen. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's up to you, Roger. If you want to do something about it, you're going to have to like, you know, get me involved with BCH if you want to, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got a message for uh, Roger. Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, it's their, it's their marketing slogan. I don't curse. Yeah, just... <laughs> uh, John, I, I will make sure to post this episode over to his to his assistant so she can share it with him and make sure that he's seen that you've commented to him on Let some nice words. <laughs> That's right. I ain't scared. So, John, oh. t t tell us what you're doing out in, uh, in Malaysia because all I'm hearing is trouble and I've heard, like, various reports from police government agencies, uh, secret societies, <laughs> and I, I just wanted to dispel all the rumors and just get the truth out. They can like, try. Are we, are we doing the Jay-Z thing now? <laughs> <laughs> this is Beyonce, I'm Jehovah. We are the two <laughs> crypto gods and goddesses, and we're coming to take over, baby. Tell them, tell them, B. Yo, B, oh, what's up? This episode's going down in history, Yuri. <laughs> So we're on a we're on a Litecoin uh, OKEX Litecoin Asian tour, and um, I don't know if you guys uh, know me. In the past, I've done two tours in in America, and on the first tour, I did it just to create momentum because nobody knew who I was. So I needed to go out there, and you guys know my saying: the world. Listen, John, we didn't really know uh -huh. who you were until you started to do this. Yeah, the only reason we know who you are is because of Chloe and this Twitter TV show you guys are doing, of which I've only seen one episode. Apparently, I've been left behind, so whatever. Forget it, you know. I'm not bothered now. Um, you don't want to keep me in the loop? You don't want to share the other episodes with me? I'm not watching anymore. I'm done. Steve, uh, honestly, nobody cares if you watch it or not. You're not that important. Well, then I'm not going to retweet them anymore either then, okay? <laughs> oh, don't retweet to your two followers. Please, I am begging you. <laughs> I'm kidding. You, you only missed a couple of zeros at the end, but that's okay. We're not counting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by the way, the only we, reason we have Twitter followers is because of Polly, not because of Yuri and me. <laughs> also true. So we're going around uh, Asia. <laughs> Um, I think our next next place is uh, Indonesia, Jakarta, Indonesia, and then uh, I, I'm done. I'll be back in the U.S. But we met some uh, key influencers and people here that are giving me giving us information about how to build uh, a 
community in, in Vietnam, which is how, 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 how fast is Vietnam growing again? Oh, uh, Vietnam is actually the second largest crypto market in Asia. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, and, and, and the people that are getting into the market are like under 20. Yeah, they're pretty young. <laughs> wow. So, so on the serious tip, what I was kind of bothered by is Grandpa that- Grandpa over there, John. Yeah, <laughs> but, but what I was concerned about is that, that there's a lot of communities being built right now, and I'm just afraid these young people are not going to understand what a true blockchain is, like, like a Bitcoin or Litecoin, yeah. and just, I don't want them to uh, breed gamblers here at a young age, so I want to I have some kind of presence to where that we can explain to them what a true blockchain is and so that so they'll know how to kind of differentiate between a scam and a, and a legitimate um, project you know awesome so what i hear is a lot of education yeah. needed for the youngsters to actually understand in the simple terms uh mm -hmm. how, what how to explain to them because if simple <laughs> terms as in like really 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 simple uh yeah, the yeah. potential teenager because they are pretty much teenagers still right i i, I yeah. sound like a grandma i'm really sorry but they pretty much like you know, grown up teenagers. So for them, uh, the only attention span they have is for TikTok or Snapchat, Instagram, and occasional Twitter. If they think they, they you know, mature enough, they, they join Twitter. So I think we, the way to reach this audience is it has to be a very specified strategy to create content that will actually be really like interesting to them uh, by something fun and a lot of like, you know, humor and uh, very easy content to get not not too much content at once but like very short uh, content pieces i'm talking from content strategy i'm a marketing uh, you know social media marketing strategist so i'm always thinking how to reach specific audiences and what's trending and stuff like that so from my perspective if we want to do anything with anything when it comes to technology with young people we have to cater to the to the way they want to receive information, what we want to tell them, just the way they want to take this information. Otherwise, it's going to be very, uh, like, we will get, like, the cold shoulder or whatever the youngsters talk about now, you know, whatever the, 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 the stuff is that, the jargon. I think, I think, Polly, you're right, because yeah. she's from J, JWL, like, marketing company, right? So we have six episodes out right now, and everybody's telling me, what the heck are you doing on Twitter? On Twitter, you're supposed to use 240 characters and, and say something witty so people can sit there and read to it and tell you how brilliant you are. I said, no, this is the John Kim show. We're going to do quick episodes, and we're going to make people watch. We're going to make people laugh, and then we're going to get people's interest. And, and that's, that's our strategy, Polly, that we're actually doing quick content, fun content to get people interested so that we can go in and – become a, maybe a, like a mini uh, celebrity, you know? So when we actually talk to them, they'll know that we're about fun. Yeah, my you do that. Off. He's stealing your quote, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, John, I don't, I don't, John, in case you didn't know, you've already shown up on Rotten Tomatoes. So we, you know, we're going to have to deal with that and start scoring it higher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, I saw your face on Tinder, and I swiped you to the left. Sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> Well, I can Tinder. promise you that was not me, because if it was, I wouldn't have my wife sitting here with us anymore. <laughs> that. It was a very bad look-alike. <laughs> wow. But, but so, God, so what? The guys, anyway. Yeah. Huh? Why were you checking out the guys anyway? <laughs> That's what she said. She said, God, no. <laughs> bad move. <laughs> Can, can we just move it? Yuri, please, segue. Yeah, so, we I was say, help us out. Miami this Dolphins, what's next? The episode. <laughs> exactly. Well, what's next on the Miami Dolphins? Are you guys, are you going after more NFL teams? Are you, are you spreading out to the eSports arena? What's, what's next in line now that you have the Dolphins and that already has kind of been set up? They need the whales. Well, we, had, we had other sports teams uh, contact us after that. and. Um, we're kind of we're, we're kind of tapped out in that area right now, but we have a few other things that we're looking at. Uh, we're always interested in esports. We love the entertainment world. Okay. We have our foot. I think we have a pretty good foothold in the sports area, so um, I wouldn't necessarily anticipate anything else in that 
in that part right now. But uh, okay. yeah, definitely still looking at other things. It's just a matter of, I mean, if anybody saw tweets from like uh, from Zinzi and and others, this is donation driven. This was not something where the foundation has like some cachet of money sitting around to do these things. This is literally like community driven funds and and other things and it's not coming from the foundation necessarily itself so to be going around in making you know partnerships and and getting things integrated and put into payment systems it's not cheap you know right now everything is pay to play so if people think literally stuff just gets done because people love bitcoin and litecoin or whatever they're still at the end of the day somebody's looking for a paycheck somewhere so yeah. yeah, it's just the real the real part of what's going on. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing to to remind everybody about that it's uh, not yeah. and, and like speaking of which it's not for good. Yeah, yeah, speaking of which, so in the last episode we had with you, David, we said we'd give someone fifty dollars worth of Litecoin if they could even remotely guess what the announcement was. And I'm sorry to announce that no one was even remotely close to football in Miami. <laughs> Uh, the yeah. best guess we got was a loaf wallet and a credit card. It was like, that's already been out, guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no. Although we said, Steve we said, and I were close we yeah. in our guesses. Yeah, we were close. But I mean, we, we, we actually said to people, it's like got to be something not already in the news. It's new something, something new. And yeah. uh, otherwise, we just got people putting their Litecoin addresses in. Like that was going to magically make money show up in their wallet. <laughs> Sorry, we're exactly. not a faucet. <laughs> Actually, I think we're gonna help. Uh, we're gonna help fund and produce a movie called "How to Bitch Slap John in Ten Days." <laughs> oh, I, am so, I, will, I will produce it and I will do all the video <laughs> editing for you guys. No problem. I'm in. Wrong. <laughs> really? Yeah. We're from it'll the be a short, It'll be a short film. Short. Sure, perfect. Oh! <laughs> oh, is that an Asian remark? Oh, oh. there. <laughs> Well, you, you, if you want to take it there, John, then I guess we've already got our answer. Hey, it, Steve, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I say or do. He always brings it back to that. I used to do uh, gifts all the time, and every single one of them, for whatever reason, he would say, "Why is there always an Asian in it?" Right? So it was always like some Asian kid or whatever. Listen, he's so, having a conversation by telling me I'm not welcome to come and be in because I'm I'm not Asian. So I mean, bring it on, well, John. From that point on. From that point on, I just did it on purpose, so. Right. Right. I'm from Texas, okay? All right? I'm from Texas. I, I know how it feels to be made yeah. fun of being an Asian in Texas. All right? Y'all need to stop. <laughs> well, then that's why, because they said everything's bigger in Texas, so. Uh, no? Even Asian. Famous <laughs> <laughs> plug. All Shameless right, John, I, I got another question for you. So, John, listen, us, us Litecoin guys have been really backing and supporting, or, 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 sorry, us Coin Chat guys have been backing and supporting Litecoin for a while, and we're still wearing these ridiculous shirts. And I'm wondering, <laughs> what does it take for you guys, because you're not going to put anything in our tip jar, do us a favor, send us a shirt at least. Come on. <laughs> Oh, you guys don't, don't even have a shirt. No, no, no. Litecoin shirt. Not even Paul or hats. Have a Litecoin shirt or hats. I don't have a shirt either. Oh, some love. Come on, man. Okay, hey, so look, let me whatever talk takes the you. whatever takes the attention from his face, right? Okay, so <laughs> let, hey, let me don't let me talk to the Asian my people. Face. I don't know where you're going with this one, David. <laughs> <laughs> let me talk to the Asian people at the Litecoin Foundation who's running things, and then I'll let you American people know, <laughs> and London people know. Okay, so. You do whatever you have to, John. Yeah. I mean, they, they send me stuff all the time. I don't know if it's because I'm Asian, because I'm cool, <laughs> better looking. I don't know. But hey, hey, if hey I get we the can next go job, back to having the looks, John. Polly, you're going to get one. Just on your looks alone, you should have one last week. Okay? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> if, it says, if it says anything, I had to buy my coffee mug. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chicken coffee mug, but I paid for that sucker, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's all John's got is one dollar. You know, most uh, people are doing it like this. John can only do it once and it's finished. Done. I made it. Right. <laughs> Listen, I've only got coins, but that was a crypto joke. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, it's, uh, I think we have to cut this because I know Yuri has to go. Polly has to go. John, it's, it's late for you as you made very clear. We've you know, mm -hmm. interrupted your drinking session in Malaysia to be on our show. <laughs> and I, I apologize for that. 
But, you know, in exchange, I will send you a logo so you can put it in the background of one of your next episodes, just as a little slide in the background somewhere. And we'll send that for so, free. We won't charge you or anything. So, Steve, before I go, can I say something real quick? Since uh, is it quick, I, I really? didn't say hi to the audience. Oh, please sure. say hi to the audience, but do make it quick, okay? Okay. So, so Coin Chat audience, thank you so much for your support of Litecoin Foundation. I know David's on there all the time, and I love the show. And um, I just want to let you guys know that there's a Litecoin Summit in October 28, 29th in Vegas, Cosmopolitan. Be there. She's actually has decided with Jasmine to make the trip and come to the Litecoin Summit. So meet us yes. there, meet Charlie, let's have fun. We're all gonna Thanks. actually have a face-to-face -face yeah. gathering and do like an, a live episode together in, in October? Yes, let's do it, yeah. let's do nice. it. Nice. Right. Yeah, so that, uh, just, to follow, just to follow on that, it's, uh, <laughs> sorry. Just to follow on that, it's litecoinsummit.org. That's where you can get your tickets for it. Okay. We will yeah, put that right. in the description down below for everybody that is checking out the comments below. And <laughs> All right. And Litecoin. <laughs> I can't speak now. Yuri, I'll see you. I'll see you in October, Yuri. Okay. You can leave. Awesome, Steve, Johnny. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. It's an easy trip for me. I'm already in the States. So, yeah. Okay, good. Yuri, you're good with Segway. So, we need you. But, you know, Steve Perfect. is just a side guy. It's, it's <laughs> If I were to compare Steve in my life, he'd be my side piece, and and, and you're the main chick. So well, let, let's let's I'm, go I'm, and have fun. Hang on, if I could be your I side chick, it. that'd be pretty cool because you know every every superhero needs a good. Oh yeah, you were a superhero in something else, weren't you? Oh yeah, that was um some little yeah in his dreams. No, he, no, no, he was actually <laughs> Superman. He it, he was trying to like go out of his way to point out that he's a Superman because he had like a Superman meme with two Asian women next to him, not one. One of them was Wonder Woman, and the other one was like, "Oh, that was." She's Wonder the Supergirl. Woman. That was Supergirl. Yeah, okay. Now that's why you look so famous, then. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, thanks everyone for checking in, listening, subscribing, and following us on all of our podcast channels as well as on YouTube. Give us a like, subscribe, hit the little bell on the way out. From all of us in the Litecoin Foundation and the Coin Chat, wishing you a very Happy day and to the moon for Litecoin, Bitcoin, and John's amazing show on Twitter. You guys can check it out. I'll put links down below so you can watch more than one episode. <laughs>